In 2018, Dyson released a cordless vacuum cleaner, the Cyclone V10, which they marketed as the first cordless to be able to replace a mains powered cleaner. They were so confident of this that they also announced they were no longer investing in research to develop mains power cleaners. This was immediately misinterpreted by many to mean they were stopping manufacturing mains cleaners, which is false. They're still making and selling them, but there'll just be no new models given it's now considered old fashioned technology for most people in most homes. The reason why this claim is made is down to the ability of a cordless to now deep clean normal, real world mess levels to mains machine levels and have sufficient runtime using a single battery and in its default mode to ensure a good cleaning session in a typical household lasting at least 20 minutes. The combination of their very advanced digital motors and superior battery technology that's the better part of a decade beyond the competition allows this to be possible. This is discussed more in the first link in the description. There remains scepticism that the V10 can produce the cleaning performance of a mains cleaner, with many, not familiar with science, peddling this myth by citing misleading numbers for irrelevant metrics such as air watts and open hose airflow as evidence instead of industry standard measurements of average cleaning performance across all floor types. Some draw this conclusion without having ever used a V10 and thus have no experience of its great performance, misleading others in the process. In fairness, scepticism that the V10 can replace a mains machine is understandable, given that most cordless cleaners are cheap knockoffs and weaker furs with very low performance compared to mains machines. Nevertheless, the V10 is the first to be officially promoted as a true replacement, unlike any others. You can check out my independent reviews of the product to learn about my experiences with links 2 to 4 in the description. One striking test which really does show why the performance of the V10 is comparable to the best performing mains machine, as measured in formal industry standard testing, can be found in the fifth link in the description. In this relative comparison test, the amount of dust that both a mains powered machine and the V10 leave behind in a pre-vacuum carpet are compared. The V10 can extract the same amount of remaining dust as the best performing mains cleaner showing it is capable of performing to comparable levels, even with low concentrations of dust that are otherwise hard to extract. This is in contrast to other underperforming cordless cleaners, which leave a lot of that harder to get fine dust behind, as can be seen in the sixth link in the description. Some don't like that the V10 represents a new era in vacuum cleaners, and go out of their way to try and smear it, which is very unfair, having used it myself and seen how good it is. Don't be fooled by negative propaganda, unsupported by professional, objective evidence. This is a great product that does exactly what it says on the tin and represents the future of easing the chore of vacuuming. While it's true to say that in general, as of the date of making this video, cordless cleaners are inferior to their mains powered equivalents, the first exception to this is now the V10. If you can afford it, give it a try and see for yourself. I've never looked back in the six months since I bought mine, and my carpets had never been cleaner.